It is being reported that the Venezuelan gang Trende Aragua began taking control of apartment buildings in Aurora, Colorado last November. While mainstream media and government ignore it, local news is covering it. So now your investigator, Brian Moss, has obtained a confidential report into one of those apartment complexes, and that report says a Venezuelan gang began taking it over in 2023. This is the nine-page report. It was put together by a Denver law firm. Mm -hmm. They say they were hired to look into the Whispering Pines apartments by the building's lenders. Last month, they sent this report to Aurora's mayor, city manager, and police chief. As recently as Tuesday, residents at the Edge apartment complex in Aurora pushed back on reports that a Venezuelan gang had taken over their building. But five miles away, at the Whispering Pines, a 54-unit apartment building in Aurora, this detailed letter asking for confidential treatment of the contents shared a different story. It was sent to Aurora officials on August 9th with the investigators saying, the evidence we have reviewed indicates that gang members are engaging in flagrant trespass violations, assaults and battery, human trafficking, sexual abuse of minors, unlawful firearms possession, extortion, and other criminal activities. According to the law firm's report, the Venezuelan gang Trende Aragua has threatened to kill, and in certain instances has apparently actively attempted to kill members of Whispering Pines management. The report says a consultant for the property management company was severely beaten and stomped by gang members and was hospitalized. The alleged incident recorded by building cameras with screenshots attached to the letter. The report relies on a property manager who said that gang members allegedly stabbed a Whispering Pines resident for refusing to pay rent to the gang. He also told the investigators the takeover began last November. The report recounts that this summer, the gang approached the property manager and told him they would help him out in exchange for half of all the rent that he collected. The law firm that wrote the report called that an organized crime tactic. The gang members then allegedly took over vacant apartments. According to the document, moved families into those units and started collecting rent. The law firm says this is a picture of gang members breaking into a vacant apartment so they could move a Venezuelan family in and then collect rent. This is our business plan, one gang member told a housekeeper. If he, the property manager, doesn't like it, we'll fill him with bullets. There are reports of this Venezuelan gang in Colorado, Illinois, and Texas. And according to a recent Dr. Phil interview with retired special agent with U.S. immigration, Victor Avia, this is all being done by design. Venezuela, by the way, has the lowest murder rate ever right now. What does that tell you? Yeah, all the murderers are gone. They're here. Yeah. So is it true that they're empty in prisons? I mean, is this, this is not, Cuba this is, all over this again? Is not, this is not a hearsay. There was a memo by DHS last year admitting that, in fact, they knew that Venezuela's government was emptying their prison and rehabilitation centers or drug centers, releasing them on purpose because they knew with instructions to make, if you were going to get out, you're going to make your way to the U.S. That is not... We're not making that up. That that that's true. It was it was reported on, and DHS admitted that that was happening. And in fact, it has. El tren de Aragua is heavily present in our country now. Okay, so you're telling me that DHS has acknowledged that Venezuela, for example, is empty in their prisons and their rehabilitation centers, with the understanding you get out if you leave here and go to the United States. Yes. And DHS has in writing said we know that's happening we know they're coming here we're processing them in and have no idea where they are correct how many people are we talking about millions and just venezuela alone hello i'm jules fleur journalist at tohi news where our mission is to bring peer-reviewed and credible information to a global community 